Welcome to Defect of the Month, taken from the NPL Defect Database. Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and this month let's talk about non-reflow, or incomplete reflow, on intrusive reflow joints. Now, intrusive reflow implies that we are using solder paste and a through-hole component termination during a reflow soldering process. Now, intrusive reflow is an alternative to wave and selective soldering. And basically, we print a volume of solder paste over the plated through hole and on the resist surface, which is calculated to fill the hole when the pin is inserted. Now, intrusive reflow is more commonly used on connectors because there is perhaps just one connector on the printed circuit board, which doesn't warrant on a surface mount design having a wave or selective soldering operation for one connector. It can be a very reliable process, provided that certain ground rules are followed. The first thing is the hole to lead ratio. As a basic guide, the finished hole size should be ten thousandths of an inch larger than the largest point of the pin. So with a square pin, we're taking the opposite corner dimension. So it's ten thou larger than the maximum pin size. The solder volume uh, can be calculated. Uh, to form the stencil and we may be printing a square or oblong aperture to compensate for the hole size. But starting off with the wrong hole to lead ratio will give you too little solder paste to make the joint you require. If solder paste does not reflow, nine times out of ten the profile is incorrect. If you've got solder paste sitting underneath a connector, inevitably that particular position on the printed circuit board will probably be the coldest position. So when you're profiling, the important thing is to monitor that position and make sure it actually meets the requirements of the solder paste vendor.